got, and this is a little bit bigger. Oh, we got something on the Mahara. And if you stick around to the end, we want to take you somewhere special. Hey guys, welcome to the Salty Strikes uh, Fishing Channel, the, another Southwest Florida edition. And uh, today I got, I'm, well I'm Chris, and I got Kim with me today. And we are no puppies, and uh, we've been hard at it bringing you guys content. And I told myself today I'm not going to catch any bait. I'm just going to go buy some, and we're probably just going to hit the bridge, do some uh, little bit of lazy fishing, just uh, drop some lines, and hopefully get some snapper or something like that. Uh, but uh, I got to the dock this morning. Kim pointed out some pinfish that were milling around, so I threw the net. Got about five pinfish, or well, a couple pinfish and uh, two uh, maharas. Hopefully, I keep those uh, put on a bigger line. Maybe, hopefully, there's some tarpon rolling around or something. I don't know. We'll find. We'll see what we get into later today, though. Uh, I don't know if you followed our Florida Keys edition, uh, but last year we went down to the Florida Keys. My sister-in-law, Kim's sister, uh, came for a visit. She's coming back. She's gonna be back for another visit. I can't wait because last time I played a little prank on her. I, I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna share this or not, but we would go out to go fishing every day and I would do my intro and I would add a little um, fib and with my intro about how we got delayed or we couldn't catch fish because of problems we were having with her <laughs> and just to see the look on her face when I would talk to the camera and you guys about it I'm gonna roll that real quick how that went and uh, hopefully the, we don't end this too short because my sister-in-law has major diarrhea and we have to keep going back early so hopefully we don't have to call it too early soon um, all right, so stick around and check it out. One more thing, Kristen took uh, some Dramamine and some Bonine, and so hopefully she doesn't fall asleep. And I also forgot that uh, right when we thought we had the explosive diarrhea under control, um, it's reared its ugly head again. Kristen is having major bowel issues, and I feel sorry for the sanitation workers here. The water treatment plant and Marathon is working overdrive, so hopefully, uh, that situation will get resolved soon. It's coming out of me like lava! Look at, look at me! Oh. Oh. She didn't know if I was actually going to post that or not, and uh, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, you know, she had a good sense of humor about it. She got a good laugh out of it. She and we told her we didn't post it, but uh, we thought that was funny. Uh, she's great fun, but she'll we'll go pick her up later from the airport today, and we'll she'll be down here. And my uh, nephew also is coming too, so. Uh, we're gonna have a couple more people on the boat saying I didn't want to catch any bait So we're gonna head down to the bait shop uh, grab some shrimp. So stick around if you want to check that out And these are the tiniest shrimp if you're out down here in Southwest Florida This is what you're gonna get in the summertime He's like little guys. But hey, maybe don't have to catch nothing. All right, guys, we got our bait. Let's head out there. All right, guys, so we are just going to take these tiny shrimp. I got a little small hook. I probably may have to even drop down the hook size, but we're just gonna fish the bridge today. And uh, we, see we had an incoming tide. Should go slack here within the next hour or so. We're really looking for some like, you know, decent sized mango snappers. It's hooked up already. Need a net. That did not take long. That's her second drop. The first one. Let's go down. What do we got, babies? What do we got? Oh, Jack. Hey. Yep. Oh, well. You know, we already had one jack from earlier. I'm going to throw him on the ice because I want to do a shark uh, video here before. There we go. 
hooked up. And it is a mangrove. Oh no, yep, no grunt. Lassoed it. How do you lasso that? Uh oh. Yeah, I'm hooked up over here. Little guy. Another little guy. Oh, right. It's a target. Mangrove snapper, but this guy's little. Hopefully, some bigger ones around. Little mangrove snapper. Got another one. What do we got? And this is a little bit bigger mangrove. Yep. That might be dinner. I don't know. He's, he seems a little small. We'll let him go. Another one. What do we got? Little mangrove. Hopefully there'll be some bigger ones around. But so far it's just been little guys. Oh, Kent sucked up. Little guy. Oh, Lane. Little Lane. Tiny. Tiny little Lane snapper. Look at this little guy. Oh. <laughs> Can't give all, hold on, nothing. My, my hands aren't working. Hey, at least we're keeping busy out here. Not exactly what we're looking for, but keep these guys for later. Just back down on the bridge a little bit. Oh, another a mangrove. Finally. Oh, he might be keeper size close to it and he's little, he's kind of little I'll let that guy go another little mangrove man oh man we're gonna have to start keeping some 10 inches because <laughs> that's all it seems like all we're catching but he's probably a little shy another one basically as soon as it hits the water hopefully there's some bigger ones milling around but Uh, Jack. Yep. He's going into shark bait. Ooh, ha, ha. Uh, got him. Got him again. Another small mangrove. Right species, wrong size. All right, we're gonna throw a little Mahara down. See if we can't uh, get a snapper. Oh, uh, Kim got something on the Mahara, and it is a nice mangrove, but still little. What do we got here? What do we got here? And oh, oh, yellowtail. Yellowtail snapper. This is the uh, we've been fishing here for years, and this is the first time we've ever caught a yellowtail snapper. Pretty, look at him. But these got to be like 12 inches total length. Oh, Kim's hooked up again. Probably another jack tank, maybe. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, yep, another jack. Shark bait. Shark bait. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, another yellowtail. That's crazy. Man, two yellowtail. I gotta get a lot bigger than this, but man, they're pretty fish. They were good eating, but they gotta be much bigger. And if you stick around to the end, we wanna take you somewhere special and uh, show you something. So, uh, you know, stick around for that. What do we got here? What do we got? Another mangrove. Man, we are on the struggle bus for finding keepers. I know these aren't the biggest fish, but man, 
uh, we're having a good time out here. You know, we've been busting our butts out here fishing and it's nice to be able to just come sit under the bridge and uh, keep the lines bending and, um, I, you know, not bring any, really any dinner home, but we're having a good time and I hope you're enjoying. If you are, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, we're greatly appreciated. Um, we enjoy, oh, Kim's hooked up and we'll get back to fishing. Oh. Another little lane. Oh, another lane. Holy crap. Oh, what do we got here? Another yellowtail. What do you got? Oh, mangrove. Oh, and another jack. Kim got a nice one. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, Pompano. Pompano. Oh. A Kimberly. Oh. That was a Pompano. <laughs> I looked like anyway. Oh, another lane. The Jack. Uh, mangrove. Oh, Puffer. Man, we are just hitting every freaking species in the book over here. Nope, nice mangrove. Like I said, this is the Southwest Florida edition. So if you're ever around the area, the Sanibel Island, Pine Island area, uh, on boat or even by land, you should definitely stop by this place. We're gonna take you to. Well, the, all the parking over there at the restaurant was uh, full, so there's a marina right next door and they charge $5 to park you know, your boat over here, but it is well worth it. So we'll go check it out. Also, if you take, take your receipt um, for the you know, $5 over to the restaurant, they will take that off your check. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, yeah, if you're ever in this area, I highly recommend stopping by uh, Fuzzy uh, Bait Shack. It's really good food, good atmosphere. Uh, you know, I couldn't play the audio while we were right there because they were playing music, and so you know, copyright all that jazz and stuff. So you know, it's an awesome place to visit, and you know, just go have lunch or you know, especially after a busy day of fishing. Uh, it's great to stop by. I highly recommend it. I, I will give one recommendation. Tim loves this thing. It's not it's not an adult menu, you, it's on the kids menu. Uh, you order the grilled cheese with bacon on it. It's freaking awesome. It's delicious. So good. It is good. <laughs> it, you know, if, if she speaks, you know, it's it's word. So anyway, uh, thanks for joining us again for another Salty Strikes uh, fishing adventure. And I know this is a little different than we usually do, but uh, you know, comment down below if you if you kind of like this, like you know vlog you know kind of share and other stuff uh, subscribe if you haven't thumbs up are greatly appreciated and uh, we love all you guys and hearing from you down in the comment section so until we see you next time guys stay salty bye